Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a transition like this one. So to get started I'm going to create a new composition which is going to be 3 seconds long at a frame rate of 59.94 frames per second. I'm going to call it main and it's going to be 1920 by 1080. So I've already imported the footage that I'm going to use so I'm going to drag the first image into the composition and I'm going to trim it to 1 second and then I'm going to drag the second one and I'm going to make it start at one second and right now we have a simple cut from one image to the other. Now to create this transition we're going to use a few adjustment layers so we're going to create the first one by right clicking and then creating a new adjustment layer. I'm going to call it zoom and it's going to be using the transform effect but before I apply it I'm going to change the label color because it's going to help us to stay organized. So now let's search for the effect and let's apply it to the adjustment layer. And I'm going to set a scale keyframe with a value of 200 with my playhead right here at one second. So I'm going to press Control Shift D to split this layer. And right now, as you can see, it's split into two parts. And then I'm going to select both of them and press U, which is going to show me the keyframes that I've just created. So with the first layer selected, I want to move the playhead 15 frames backwards. So I'm going to press shift and page up once and then page up one, two, three, four, five times, which is a total of 15 frames. And then I'm going to set the scale value back to 100. Now with the second layer, I want to press shift and page down one, two, three times, which is going to move me 30 frames forwards. And then I want to set the scale value to 100. Now I'm going to select all of these keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them and make the animation smoother. But right now I want to set the playhead back here and then press shift and page down which is going to move it just 10 frames forwards and I want to change the scale value to 130. So if I preview this, this is what we've made so far. And before we move on, I'm going to enable motion blur for these two layers and in the composition. So right now it looks like this. As you can see we have motion blur. The next adjustment layer that we're going to create is going to be using the transform effect but it's going to be used for the camera shake. So I'm going to change the color and right now we want to make it start five frames before the actual um, cut. So let's press page up one, two, three, four, five times and then let's trim it to the playhead like that and then let's press shift and page down so it's gonna end five frames after the cut occurs. We can apply the transform effect but we're going to animate it later as we're gonna be using a wiggle expression. Now the next step is gonna be creating another adjustment layer and this one is gonna be used for the optics compensation effect. So once again I'm gonna change the label color and then we can apply the effect from the effects and presets panel. I'm going to set the playhead back to one second and right now I'm going to change the value of the field of view to 90 and I'm going to check this box that says reverse lens distortion and I'm going to set a keyframe for the field of view. Then with the layer selected press Control Shift and D to split it and then select both of them and press U to show you the keyframes that you've just created. So I'm going to click right here which is going to send me to the first scale keyframe instead of having to press shift and page up and then page up five more times again. And I'm going to set the field of view value to zero right here which is not going to give me any distortion at all. And then I want to move to this keyframe right here and select the second adjustment layer and again set the value to zero. So this is what we have so far. Now the next adjustment layer is going to be used for the warp effect. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to rename it to warp and I'm going to set the label to maybe red and now search for warp in the effects and presets panel and here it is in the distort folder. So I'm going to apply it. I'm going to set the playhead right here to one second and right now we want to set the warp style to fisheye. 
Now, the next step is gonna be setting the band value to minus 100, which is the maximum negative value. So just drag it all the way to the left and then set a band keyframe. Right now, I'm gonna press Control Shift D to split the layer. Then I'm gonna select both parts of it and press U to show the keyframes. And now we can animate this. So select the first layer and then press Shift and Page Up, which is gonna move the playhead 10 frames backwards. And then I'm gonna set this value to 60. Then I'm gonna press Shift and Page Up one more time and I'm gonna set it back to zero. Now I'm gonna set the playhead back here and I'm gonna select the second layer and just press shift and page down one, two, three times and set the band value back to zero. So right now, if I scroll through with the playhead, you can see that we're already, the transition is taking shape, but we need to select all these keyframes and then hit F9 to easy ease them and then open them in the graph editor. So this right here is the second set of keyframes and we're just gonna drag this handle like this so that the warp starts at the maximum intensity and we're gonna drag this one so that the graph looks something like this. And then we're gonna select this pair of keyframes and again, we're gonna drag this handle all the way to the left. So right now, if I preview this, you can see that the transition has taken its shape. Now, the final step is gonna be adding an exposure adjustment layer, which is obviously gonna alter the exposure to make this look a bit more interesting. And then after that, we can animate the camera shake and we can finish the transition. So I'm gonna rename this to exposure and then we can apply the same effect for this um, adjustment layer like that. And we can set the playhead to one second and set the exposure value to one. As you can see, changed quite a bit. So I'm gonna set a keyframe and then I'm gonna press shift and page up, which is gonna move me 10 frames backwards and I'm gonna set the value to zero. You can press U to see the keyframes so that you know what you're doing. And then I'm gonna move the playhead um, back to one second and then press shift and page down two times, which is gonna move me 20 frames forwards. And I'm gonna set the exposure value back to zero. So right now the animation looks like this. If we just wait for the preview to finish, okay? And now we can animate the shake. So to do that, we need to apply the transform effect, which we already did. And then we're gonna alt click on the stopwatch of the position value. And right now, as you can see, we can type in an expression. We're gonna be using a wiggle expression. Um, I have a separate tutorial for this expression, which I made a while back, but we're gonna open a bracket. And the first value that we're gonna type in is gonna be 20, which is essentially the number of wiggles per second. It's the frequency. And then we're going to type in 35, which is the amount of the wiggle. And then I'm gonna close the bracket. And as you can see right now, um, if I preview this, you can see that we have a camera shake. So if I preview the entire transition, you can see that we're done. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.